Hey, how are we doing boys and girls? Welcome to the video. So today is a bit more of a community requested video, but it's a very important video, which I think is going to help a lot of you out. Um, I wanted to do this video as a big thank you for the huge support everyone has been throwing at my videos. I really, really appreciate it. It is super, super kind of you all um, watching and commenting and I read every single comment. And so let's get straight into what we're going to be covering today. So I want to go over how to get the best possible sound out of your DMZ experience, managing to hear footsteps louder and getting rid of a lot of the clutter and noises, which are really loud in this game and lowering those volumes so you can hear footsteps better. Um, this is going to really only apply more to the PC player base, but there's going to be some things here for the console players too so stick around i'm going to deal and go through all the settings which are in game first which will also help console players and then we're going to go into some settings which we need to tune out of game which are really the bread and butter of making this game's footsteps better now i'm going to put a forewarning here as much as we can improve the footsteps sounds the game's audio engine is really bad. It is really, really bad, pretty rough. And the best way of putting this is the only way I can think of it. It's pretty much like trying to polish a turd. <laughs> it, is, it isn't great, but we can try and get the best we can get out of it. All right. And this is how we do that. So let's get straight into it. Okay. So under the audio section, we want to start with audio mix and we're going to talk about two presets home theater and headphone bass boost and why i choose home theater over headphone bass boost which is another popular um, selection now the reason people tell you to choose headphone bass boost is because it does amplify your footsteps but it also amplifies a lot of other things um and makes them a lot you know makes them more bassy for example right now, this is great most of the time in quiet situations. If you're just in a building, for example, nothing's happening. You should be able to hear the footsteps pretty clearly coming up to your G if you're trying to track someone, right? But this is where bass boost seems to fall short compared to home theater. Home theater has a better dynamic range. And what happens is when there's a lot of things going on, shooting, explosions, talking, running, and other footsteps when it's all getting mixed up i find home theaters a lot more clearer picking out certain like effects all right like footsteps and you can differentiate differentiate things better and this is why home theater i feel is better than headphone bass fish you can still hear footsteps well quietly with home theater just not as loud as bass boost but and this is the but because we're going to be tweaking some things out of game which we're going to go into after this home theater becomes the clear winner because we're going to be boosting footsteps um, with the software out of game all right so we're going to go with home theater i feel like this is the best one especially when we're going to make it and around with the settings out of game okay so under the master volume you can click show more and it's going to bring up um, extra options these are really important to change and this is something which you should help out my console um, players too all right now master volume is just whatever you want to set it to that's, that's how, how loud you want your game to be right that doesn't matter it's just how loud you can handle the game being all right but these other ones are going to be important the most important one we're going to talk about first because everything else will correspond to it is the effects volume the effects volume is your footsteps volume all right and other things in game um, other effects in game you want to make sure this is at 100 this is the most important thing you want to hear when playing in call of duty if it's dmz warzone 636s right everything else is less important now the two other really less important things you don't really need we can literally turn off or have them super low is your music volume and your hit marker volume you don't need to hear music it's just a optional thing right i like to have it 
set to five just slightly slightly hearable i can hear the music okay but it doesn't drown out the footsteps all right it doesn't drown out the important things i need to hear and the same with hit marker volume hit marker volume is just that satisfying kind of noise you get when you shoot someone right that kind of like tap 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 noise when you're starting to tap people right or the sniper tonk you get right it's a satisfying noise and i do want to hear it right but i don't want to hear it super loud i don't need to hear it super loud and it's gonna if i have it super loud it could start drowning out other noises like your footsteps so i have it set to five um you can even turn this off because you still get that visual noise um the visual kind of effect on your screen when you're shooting people so you should still know you're shooting someone even when you have this turned off all right so i have this set to five music volume set to five dialogue volume is important but you don't need it to be super high you don't need it to be set to 100 i'd set it anywhere between 30 to 40 and that makes it so you can still hear call outs from the ai um commander dude you know in the game saying there's an enemy UAV just been released, or there's a fort being taken, or there's um, a SAM site being taken. That kind of, that male character it says that um, information when you're going to throw DMZ in Warzone. That's the dialogue volume. You don't need it too loud. You just want it loud enough so you can hear it, so it gives you that information when you need to. So 30 to 40 is perfect for that. Then the other one we want to talk about is voice chat volume. You want to have this between 10 and 20. It's so loud when you put it to 100. All right. But you do need voice chat volume on. And I'll tell you why. It's because there's so many people using proximity chat and they don't turn off push to talk. They have it. So it's always constantly going, um, especially if they're using controllers, right? They have the, the um, controller mic on. And so you hear a lot of people talking in game and they are completely unaware that they are talking right they are completely unaware that they're talking in game most of the time i feel and you can hear them and it gives you a head it gives you a huge advantage right so you want to make sure this is on you don't want to turn it off so then let's scroll down and then you want to have your speaker head so that's just whatever you're using to listen to call a duty right so i use my Wi-Fi DAC amp, that's what I want to select. You want to make sure mono audio is turned off. You definitely do not want to turn on mono audio. Now, subtitles, I haven't changed any of this. It's just on default. Um, I haven't changed any of this. This is not important. Voice chat, again, you want to make sure this is on. So voice chat on, all lobby, last word voice chat on, proximity voice chat on, um, and yeah. Default sys device. I just have the default sys device for um, voice chat output device, right? So again, you want this on. This is what people have on, and this is what happens when you hear people talking in game. And it's to do with the microphone here, the push to talk. Now I have it set to push to talk. So when I'm talking to my friends on Discord or you know in a party, I'm not like showing it to everyone. I'm not outputting it to the whole game i'm just I, i'm just talking to my friends right if i want to talk to someone in game i can then press a key for me it's Z, and then i can talk to someone in game and then the people in game can hear me all right but a lot of people i think have this on open mic and so that's why you can hear people in game a lot of the time talking away when they're doing their quests and it gives you a huge you know a huge advantage hearing them all right um, and then everything, apart from that, I've got Juggernaut music off. This only replies to people who want to play 6v6s. I don't like the Juggernaut music. I just turn it off. I have MW hit marker sounds. I don't mute the game when minimized. And then I do reduce the tintiness sound, to, uh, tinnitus sound, sorry. So what this will do is when you get flashed by a flash grenade, and if you have this off, you have a really loud, annoying concussion Kind of shell shock type of noise really high pitched noise and it can drown out footsteps right if you turn this on it reduces that and gives it a bit more of a kind of dull murky sound but you still get the sound but it's not loud and it's not really off-putting and you can still hear footsteps and i've actually been called a hacker 
when playing DMZ because someone flashed me and because I was pre-aiming the door where I knew they was going to come into, I could still hear them run in and I just started pre-firing and I killed someone, right? So reducing the tinnitus sound is a really big important one. Just in case you do get flashed, you still should be able to hear your footsteps, okay? From the effects volume we've got here. So that is everything we need to change in game. Um, this is it for, I suppose, the console guys. Let me know in the comment section down below um, how your setup is. Does this help you? Um, I would love to hear. Okay, so now we get into the juicy bit for the PC players. All right. Um, we're going to be talking about the compressor. This is what we're going to be going into right now um, on the desktop. What is a compressor before we get into it, may you ask? What's going, we're going to be doing is when you're playing Call of Duty, most of the time you'll notice that like gunshots and explosions, all the loud things are really, really, really loud and footsteps are pretty quiet, right? They're pretty quiet. And so when there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, a lot of shooting, a lot of explosions and you want to try and hear footsteps, it's really hard to hear those footsteps because the, the gunshots and the the explosions are overpowering the footsteps. When we put a compressor in on your PC, it's just a bit of software and it's free. Um, we're altering it, so we're lowering the sound of the gunshots and we're lowering the sound of the explosions and bringing it down to a more normal volume. And we're also upping the sound of your footsteps. All right, so we're kind of bringing them all into like a kind of equal volume levels. All right, you're making it so the louder stuff is not as loud and we're making this the quieter stuff more louder. All right, and bringing it more equal. And so what this does is it makes it so we can raise the master volume here louder. We can raise the overall volume of our game louder so we can hear footsteps louder without having to blow our eardrums out when we start shooting or when explosions going off or grenades coming and exploding for example right so it's just going to make it so much more clearer hearing footsteps um when you have a compressor on this is something i really got into back when i used to play tarkov over two or three years ago um, there's many different applications but some of them are really bad I know there's a lot of YouTubers recommend something called Soundlock. I 100% don't recommend using that application because all that does is reduce the volume of your Windows sound. And you do not want to do that because all it's doing is also reducing your footstep sound when you're shooting and also explosions going off. It's not the best app. What we're going to be using is a free application and a free plugin which actually compresses the sound. It doesn't just reduce the volume of your windows, okay? So that's what we're gonna get into now. It may look pretty complicated, but we're gonna go through it step by step and make it really easy to follow. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're now into the desktop. Let's go straight into what we need to do to get everything set up. The first thing we need to do is take note of what our output device is, what we're currently using to listen to our game and the best way to do that and the best way to figure it out is go to start and just type on your keyboard mm s y s dot c p l and it should bring up a best match called control panel item you just press enter and it's going to bring up this right here right so under playback, you have speakers. That is what I am currently using, okay? And it is my iFi Zen V2 DAC, right? That is what I use to listen to Call of Duty. If you want to then right click on that, whatever you're using for your default output device, click properties, make sure that we go to spatial sound and we make sure Everything is set to off here and click apply. Okay. Everything else on here is 
not really needed to be changed. I like to keep my levels around 80. I don't have it maxed. And you will need to play around your levels once we've done all the changes just to suit your headphones and your needs. But the main thing we want to take away from this is what this is. Take note of what it's called and to make sure that we've got no extra surround sound or post process and been added. Make sure everything is set to off. Click apply. Click OK. And we've done the first part. The next part, we now need to open up our um, web browser and you want to go to this website I will leave the link to this website in the description down below it's going to take you to equalizer APO um, this is a well trusted piece of software and basically what this is going to be used for is controlling the compressor plugin and also the little equalizer we're going to create for your specific headphone we're going to go into more detail on both of them in a minute, but for now, we just want to download this Equalizer APO. All you need to do is click the download, um, give it a little time. It's going to count down in five seconds. Just let it do its thing, and it should then start to download. Here we go. Now starting to download. All right. We then want to, once downloaded, click the little arrow, click open. Um, you're not going to see this, but I'm just clicking yes and then it comes back so you just want to click next you just want to agree you just want to click the normal destination it's going to go in so c program files equalize hpo yep that's fine click next um i you want to make sure you create a um, start menu folder just so you remember what it's called and then click install then it's going to come up with this here. This is really important. This is why I asked you to take note of what your output device is, because we're going to need to check that in this configurator tech section. OK, so there's many things here I've got here. And this is the reason I asked you to do that, because then you know exactly which one to press. So ours is the iFi HD USB. This is the default device and it says here if it can be installed or not. APO can be installed. So I'm going to click that because that is what I use to listen um, to Call of Duty with, right? That's what Call of Duty uses as my output device. All right. So you select whatever you use for your output device. Mine is the speakers. And then you click OK. It's a, this dialog can be reopened anytime by launching and configure.exe. Yeah, that's fine. Just click OK. And then that is done. You are going to need to reboot. So what I would advise to do is just save this video. Either give it a like or save to watch later so you can come back to it. Do your reboot and then come back to this step stage and then we'll carry on. OK, so we've done the reboot. We now want to access Equalizer APO. The easiest way to do that is click on your start type in and you would for equalizer apo but it's not it doesn't come under that it comes under config duration editor all right so just type in configuration editor or just config in it for me and it comes up as the best match here um this is the thing you wanted it configuration editor app right click on it i would mostly advise saving it as a pin to your start menu or your taskbar so you can easily access it whenever you need to so let's open that up and it's going to bring up this window here. Now you're going to see a few extra things here as the default stuff. Just click the little red minuses underneath them to get rid of them. So you literally just have what you can see here. Because we don't need to have any of that added. We're going to add our own custom um, settings now. Okay, so once you've just got rid of them and you literally can just see a blank piece of text like this. We're ready to go. Alright, um, if you... I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just quickly add something just just in case. So you see stuff like this, right? Just click the little minuses to get rid of it. Um, so you like this. So it's nothing here, right? So we just have to click plus. And then you want to go to control. You want to go to device. You want to click change device. You want to click select all devices. Uncheck it and then select playback devices speakers so this is again the output device 
which you are going to be listening to. The same thing we've done again, the same thing I wanted you to take note on before. Okay, um, so I'm just making that as the main thing to control. Click OK. And that first part is done. It says APO installed, right? And then that's our device, iFi. Anything below this now is going to affect the speakers. All right. So now we can start adding in the settings we want to add in. All right. So the next thing we want to now add is go add filter. We want to go to graphic equalizers. We then want to go to graphic equalizer with variable bands. And it's now going to bring this up. Okay. You want to make sure it is selected as variable. Now you're going to why on you don't want to know why we're selecting this. So every single headphone has a different graphic equalizer preset built into them basically you know they have their custom sign signatures right everyone's headset signs different to one another and we want to make it so your headset sounds neutral it hasn't got extra bass to it hasn't got extra mids to it treble you know however it's set up we want to make it sound as neutral as possible so the only thing which is affecting the bass trebles mids is the sign signature in Call of Duty, right? The home theater, what we selected, for example, right? Which is what we went for, home theater, right? That's the only thing which is affecting the bass, mids, trebles, etc. We don't want our headphones playing into that. So how do we do that? How do we get a neutral sounding headphone? Um, we create this graphic EQ variable. So once we've done this, I now need you to go and open up your web browser again. I'm going to leave the link to this um, um, website again in the in the description. It's a GitHub project. And basically, these guys, absolute legends, have basically tuned a hell of a lot of headphones, gone through every single headphone, not everyone, but a hell of a lot of them, and made a kind of nice neutral um preset for them all right so this is what we're going to grab so once you're at this github website you click the web um the link you want to scroll down and this is all the headphones they've gone through absolute legends of doing this you want to find your headset so i'm uh i'm a sennheiser right so i'm going to scroll all the way down to the s's uh here we are sennheiser and i'm a sennheiser hd 560 so that's where i want to go all right so we are just here hd 560 so you find your headset headphones whatever you're rocking see if you can find it under here all right then click on that headset of your choice and it should bring up this here again it looks all confusing we try not to make it as confusing as possible the only thing i want you to click on on here is the graphic eq so you'll see the, the the name of your headset and a few other things here you want to find the one which says graphic eq dot text all right it should be the third one down third or second one down graphic eq click on it and you can see a load of gobbledygook a load of numbers right all you need to do is copy it not the whole lot like this you want to start from where the numbers begin. So here, you can see where I'm copying it from 20. Yours could be saying something different, depending on your headphone, right? So you just drag and copy the whole entire text. Right click, copy. Okay, so we just copied it. We then just minimize this and go back to our equalizer APO configurator editor. Under where it says graphic EQ, you're going to see just below the minus a place called edit text. You want to click on that and it's going to bring this up. You then want to press control V and that's going to paste in that text. All right. You then press enter and you should then see a graph just like this. Okay, so we installed the graphic EQ, that's all ready to go, and now we want to install in the compressor. This is the, the juicy part of our setup here. All right, so we need to leave Equalizer APO alone first, but we do need to install the plugin first. So to do that, we're going to head back over to our web browser, 
and we're going to head over to a website called Tokyo Dawn's Records. I'm going to leave the link again in the description for you. And then we're just going to scroll down where it says free download. And we want to go to Windows Installer. That's the top one. Click on that. Click Accept and Download. And you can see down here it's downloaded. You do not need to put in your email and get any product updates. It just downloads it straight away. All right. So click the little arrow. Click Show in Folder. And it should bring up the window where you have downloaded it to. You want to right click on this folder. Click Extract All. Click Extract. And it's going to bring up a window with an exe file to install the tdr um, setup file okay double click on that you're going to see a black window again just bear with me i'm praying all i'm doing is pressing yes just wait for it to come back there we go click next click agree click next click next and when you come to this point here before you click next just deselect the 32-bit plugins this one here, one here, and you can also deselect the 64 bit AAX plugin. Deselect that one. So you're only two selected. That's all we need having it installed the VST2 plugin, the VST3 plugin. Okay. Then we just click next. Now, one thing to take note you want to make sure you bring up a notepad. Just type in start, just click on start and type notepad to bring up a notepad. You want to take note of this here, of this installation file, because this is where we find the plugin. All right. So for me, it's C program files, Steinberg, VST dot plugins. Right. What you want to do is just highlight it. Right click, copy. You want to go over to your notepad. I see, I think I've already done it, but if you just paste in that file, um, location on that notepad and just keep that handy all right because you're going to need to take note of this in a minute so then we just click next and then we click next again click next again and install and that is now done we don't have to reboot we just click finish and we've done so we can come off all this come off this and head back on to equalizer apo Okay, so now we've installed the plugin. We just now want to add it to Equalizer APO. All right, so make sure you do have your little notepad ready, which had the file location of where that plugin was installed, because we're just going to need that in a minute. So first, we're going to click the plus sign. We're going to go to plugins, and we're going to go to VST plugin. It's going to create this uh, extra section. Just on the left hand of options, we want to click the little blue folder. It's going to bring this up. Now, I've already selected it, but it may not find the plugin, right? It's, it will just have a blank section, which you can't select anything. This is where you bring up your notepad and you select the whole file location. Right click on it, click copy. We then go up to the v where we need to select it. Go on to where the window is. If you click on it, it will highlight it. You then right click and then select paste. Click enter and then it'll bring you to the location you need to be. All right. So we then click on the plugin, which is TDR. And then we just click on open and that will bring it up like so. So you'll see the file location here and that will say what the plugin is called. Right. And we've now added it to equalizer APO. We just now need to set it up. So first we we'll have to do that. We just need to click on open panel. It's going to bring up this here, right? Now the settings are all um, going to be different and you're just going to need to change these to something else. Now it looks a little bit confusing, but I'm going to do this step by step on each one. So it shouldn't be too confusing for you. Um, under threshold, it's going to say zero um, dB. You want to just click on it and you want to type in minus 35. That's all you need to type. And then you click on enter. And it's going to change it to minus 35 dB. All right. We don't need to change the peak and soft. These can stay at three and one. We do need to change the ratio currently on a two ratio. We need to change it to five. To do that, we just click on it again and then just select five and then press enter. And that will then change it to a ratio of five. All right. Five dot zero 
and then one all right we now need to go on to the attack just below it should be on 6 ms we want to change it to one so again click on it and then just type in one and then press enter and again we have done and that is it we don't need to change anything else on here this is your compressor now set up right so now all we need to do is you want to tick apply automatically you want to tick apply just click that a few times just make sure it has and then click ok and as you can see we've now added that in you can just double check by clicking the opening panel and you'll see the settings have been added um, you can click on options and click embedded and you can also just see the options also like so um, you can see them all in here like that and that's how we've had this set up this is how I set up my compressor. So there's one last thing I do want to add to this equalizer API, which I think is going to help you guys and just increase the overall volume of your system. Because when we add this compressor, um, what I'm going to do is actually just go back to options and remove that embed. So it's just back down to being like this again, just so we can see easier. Um, we're going to add another um, we're going to add another filter. So we're going to go to basic filters. We're going to add a preamp. Okay. It's just going to add this here. So this is just going to increase the overall volume of your system. Like when you add a compressor, what you'll normally find is the uh, sound volume may just go down a little bit um, because we are compressing the higher ends of the volume. And so it might just sound a little bit more quieter than normal. And so if you're playing on Call of Duty and you haven't got a, a, a gain on here, you you may be like having it at max 100 and feel like you may be able to raise it even more, right? Raise the volume even more to be able to hear those footsteps easier. So we'll add a gain. Now, you don't want to go crazy with this. You don't want to blow your lug holes out or anything like that. Um, so I would recommend most probably increasing it by a stage of five. Press and enter. And that's all you need to do. Again, it instantly increases this volume i would then start up call of duty i would most probably have the max volume at around 80 percent and then play a game and see how loud it is is it really is it too loud is it quiet if it's quiet at 80 percent, i would most probably then come back um and then increase this by another two or three decibels all right then go back to call of duty test again at 80 percent and see how it is right you kind of want it so you're kind of around anywhere between 80 to 100 percent and that's at the max volume you want it to be at right um that is really loud and you can hear everything you need to be heard all right um and then if it, if you wanted to turn it down you can just turn it down in game with your max volume all right so that's how you want to do it so this is why i advise having the equalizer apo handily available on your taskbar or start you can then alter um, these settings as you go along you can also more than welcome uh, open up this again alter some of these settings if you feel you could um, if you start to get a bit more confident alter these you, you you're more than welcome to do so um you can just come back to these and copy these whenever you like right so let me know how this works out for you. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Has this improved your audio experience when playing uh, Call of Duty? I would love to hear. Thank you so much again so much for like watching these videos and showing so much support. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you soon for some more DMZ in Call of Duty. Thank you so much, guys.